Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Now today we're going to continue in our story that we were in yesterday with Jesus, this adulterous woman, and these legal officials. I'm going to begin in verse 7, read down through verse 11. And as they continued, those are the officials, to ask him, he, Jesus, stood up and said to them, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. Very cunning response of Jesus. And once more, he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, no one, Lord. And Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. And from now on, sin no more. So as we uh, mentioned yesterday, these men have come to interrogate Jesus, of course, and they come up with what they think is a well-conceived plan. But you'll notice that Jesus never plays into their plan. Uh, he actually never answers their question. Instead, in response, he interrogates them, or even more accurately and precisely, he invites them to interrogate themselves, which is a cunning surgical legal move and is precisely what the law was designed to do in the first place. It was designed to expose the sin within a man's heart. It was provided to show us that we cannot govern the wickedness of our own hearts. We need someone to do that for us, which is God, which they proved they could not do even in this instance. There's <laughs> just so, so much uh, irony in the situation. And then one by one, uh, they walk away. The silence was probably deafening till only Jesus and that woman are left. Now, the only person capable of actually throwing a stone is present, is Jesus. Did you realize that? Only he is without sin in this text. But when he stands up, he does so without reaching for a stone from the ground. He turns to this nude and ashamed woman and says the words that we all want to hear. I, the man who can condemn you, do not go and sin no more. Now, fellas, that is power, the best and the most judicial use of it, because it's called grace, and it's available to those who are willing to interrogate their souls, evaluate their sins, bring them to Jesus, and leave them to sin no more. Do you need that today? If so, just bring it to Jesus. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else, and I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.